Hey guys, welcome back. Where we left off. Well, when we left off, it wasn't good times. Not gonna lie, that last part was an absolute mess. It was quite literally just me wandering around for the whole episode, making absolutely no progress. And that doesn't make for a great video, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but yeah, now I think we're on the right track. I'm making that assumption that we're on the right track, okay? I don't know whether or not that's true, but here's to it. Now, I looked at a walkthrough because obviously I was stuck. I only looked at the first part, so I didn't spoil anything. Now, that walkthrough said specifically to turn off the machines here, and that should lower the water level. Yeah, so the water is definitely coming out slower now. Okay, so it said, go past a small house. I assume this is what they were referring to. Wouldn't exactly call it a small house. And it said, now you should be able to see that you can cross. Uh, like, I don't know what that means exactly. Maybe it means this thing over here. Can we now cross it? Like, it didn't look like it. It looked like this beforehand. But... I generally don't know. It said that turning off the machines will slow down the water flow and that you'd see something that you'd be able to cross. Wait, wait a second. Is there something down there? There's steps there, isn't there? But I don't know exactly what them steps lead to and if I can even cross them. Yeah, because look, there are, they are definitely steps. Okay, can we cross that now then? Is that what it was referring to? Hopefully so, because I'd like to actually make progress this episode. Okay, so we slow down the water, that's for definite. Because turning on the machine will just speed it up again. So we should be able to cross. But then again, if I want to trust what IGN said, they said that turning the machine on is what you had to do. I don't know. But it looks like this might be the right thing to do. Yes, it is. Thank God. Thank God. Progress is already being made. Way more than what happened in the last episode. But we did do backtrack in the last episode. Like the episode before that. And we actually did some cool things. But you know what? It probably wasn't worth it. Yeah, okay. Back on track. Back on track. Definitely getting some lag spikes here. So something's definitely loading up ahead. Okay, so the last person we're to be dealing with is his grandpa. And then dealing where Ethan actually is himself, because, you know, that would be helpful knowing where he is and everything. Okay, let's follow this creek. Ethan was close. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. Okay. So we're nearing the end. Hopefully, we're going to find Ethan soon. Find out what the hell actually happened in this crazy ass place. Is that a building? It doesn't look like it, it just looks like a rock face to me. <laughs> okay, so we just keep heading this way. Looks like the right way to go. There's nothing here though, it just looks like nothing. That looks nice though. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get a good vantage point on this, shall we? Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. You know that looks good. If you don't think that looks good, then... Oh! Hello, hello, hello. Is this the building that was meant to be burning down? So is this the Vandergriff house? Oh, they got sick lion outside and everything. Oh, two! That's like creepy. They are staring at me. Do I want to head in here? It'd be the obvious thing to do now, wouldn't it? So what are we going to find in here? But just a load of rubble and ash and charred wood. Is there anything in particular that he's specifically looking for in here? Are we going to find dead bodies in here or something? Are we going to find Ethan's dead body? Or his grandpa, for that matter. Oh! Something on the floor here. What is this? Okay, that's a G. That's letters. Okay. Sent. To destroy the room. Oh. I'm sorry. Ethan. Corvus. Where's Corvus? Where is it? Oh. 
Oh, it's gone. Where'd it go? Give me Corvus back. What are we doing here then? Oh, do we want to spell out Corvus? Is that what it wants? Okay, what are the letters in Corvus? There's an S in Corvus, so this must be a U on here. There's a C on there. I need to try and... There's no A in Corvus. There's a C in Corvus. There's no G in Corvus. Okay, so... This must be... There's no thingy there, but okay. Corvus. It only has one S. Okay, it doesn't have an F in it either. Huh? Is that what I'm meant to be doing? Am I meant to be trying to spell out Corvus? Because I don't feel like I am. Oh, there's a little dong then. I just need to figure out... Okay, yeah, so we're spelling it from here. So, cor this needs to be an O. Was there an O on this one? Yes, there was. I did not figure that out. Boom! Corvus. Oh! Looks a bit like an eyeball. What? Is this what Ethan found then? Oh god, I don't know if I want to be heading down here exactly. Is this what I want to be doing? Music's just a bit too happy. What's going on? Well, it's not exactly happy. Oh. Oh god! It's not Ethan, is it? Please don't move. Who is it? Dot, dot, dot. Chard. Yep. Oh. Peaceful. Okay. Oh, we're just going to get the whole thing straight away. Oh, it's the grandfather, was it? Jesus. Oh, this room used to look pretty nice beforehand. But I have a feeling that some crazy crap went down here. I feel none of it was good. Okay, let's start from the beginning, shall we? Okay, so... They had a plan. They had a plan. And then they were like, Hey, let's do this. What was he doing with the table? It looks like he's spinning it. And then it finished with them trying to pry the door open. Okay. Oh, God. I didn't realize you were that. It's slightly creepy. Okay, so they came here. They tried to open the door. And then he was like, I'm flipping the table. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, it didn't seem right, but there still needs there's one more thing. Okay, so where does that come? Hmm, perhaps that is it, I don't know. It's a shot in the dark. I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother Gail is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. You don't sound like it. You sound a bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Was I right? Nope. God damn it. Okay, so where did I mess up? Was he like run? Did he like throw a table at him or something? Perhaps. So let's move that to the second place. And let's roll Ethan, it from there. I fought it off. It's, it's okay. okay. Grandpa, no, I it's found not. Vandergris diary. He oh. said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. So you. Look. <laughs> oh. He wasn't flipping the table. He was spinning the table. And what the? How did? When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. So is the grandpa a good guy or what? Or is he evil? Yeah, I was right. They're breaking it open. Or prying it open. I can squeeze through. Oh, and then he went in on his own. Oh, God. Judging from the music, I don't think this is a good idea. And slam shut. Bye, Ethan. No, no. Oh, God damn it, Grandpa! You were evil. Gale, it has to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Oh God, he's pouring the oil all over the floor by the door. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa, get back! Uh oh, Nanny's boots oh, caught fire. God. Jesus. Even, Even me. That's a bit intense, I'm not gonna lie. And does that not hurt? No? Okay. You crazy person. I don't think the sleeper would make you immune to pain, I'm not gonna lie. 
Like, cause flipping Chad got stabbed in the neck and he was flipping freaking out about it. Okay, and I'll ask for what happened to Ethan. Oh. Ethan? Is this actually you or is this another memory thing? Guess we're about to see, aren't we? Wake up. Okay. Are you actually... Ethan. Wake up. Oh, God. Well, kid. Here's where he's like a scary monster. Uh, horrible, you it. He looks oh, kind... Prospero. Oh, no. Are you... Are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too oh, late. God. You're right. You were too late. Oh, God. What? Wait. Oh, I was about to say, why am I stuck in this crazy world? Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. What? What does that mean? Where's Ethan? He was here. I just spoken to him. Or was I there when all that happened? What the hell is this? Is there some bullhead going on up there? Some bear trap there. What does it all mean? Bridge. Dam. Church. This place. Stories. Hmm. Ah. I see. So. I know what story I'm missing on one of these. I know I'm missing one of them. But we've got them. So let's head to this one, shall we? It's nice of them to implement a fast travel system now. <laughs> but yeah. I believe I know which one this is. Unless it's the other one further down. I don't know. But we're going to find out now anyway. It's nice that they've done this now. It's pretty nice. Okay, so we're here. Back at the start. Okay, so we need to end this direction. So it's something back here then. I'm going to assume. I hope I can freaking teleport back, by the way. Because if I can't, that freaking sucks. Okay. What could a story be written about this place? It was a bear trap. So I'm expecting my leg is going to get trapped by a bear trap. <laughs> oh, God. Screw you. Why would you do this? Why would you write a story about something like that? Screw that nonsense. Oh, what? What the hell is that? I don't... I don't get it. What is it? It's like... A crescent shape. But what does it mean? Jesus Christ. Okay. So there's something else I'm meant to be reading here. A crescent shape. I'm not, like, I have no idea what that means. Like, it's the first time we've seen something like that. Like, usually we have the bubble in the middle, and it, like, fills up if we found all the things. But for this, it's just the shape. I don't know, there's nothing even around here. Oh! Was that another trap? Are there more traps? Are there many traps? I flipping hope not. For this scared the hell out of me. I hear traps. Oh god! What is this? What the hell is going on? Why does someone want to kill me so bad? This isn't the kind. I hear more traps though. It's flipping like flipping Ewok traps here, man. This ain't Endor, you know. You don't set up traps around for people. I'm, not, I'm keeping an eye out for them. Because I can hear them. I just don't know where they're going to fall from. I'm slightly worried that if they hit me, I'm probably going to die. <laughs> but then again, I don't think they could probably can hit. I hear them. I do, I tell you now. I can flipping hear them. I don't see them, though. Oh, here we go. And... ka -chow! Boom, that should be it, hopefully. Okay, one crescent, two crescents. Still, still more, still missing more. So another tree trap then, possibly. Is 
Sounds like there might be one over here. I am not too certain about that. I'm trying to sound whore. It's kind of hard because it's kind of the sounds are really just something over this way. Here's where it flipping pops up in my face again. This guy's a crab out there. No oh god, what was it? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It didn't. Oh god. Jeez. Who the hell set these up? Is that it? Still one more. Okay, I hear one over here. Look to the trees. You never know when a flipping swinging rock or a hole in the ground. Oh god. Jesus Christ, are you being serious? <sighs> there we go. Thank God. Thank God I didn't have to deal with that again. Okay, looks like there's something over here, so let's read it. Why the hell are these traps here then? Sap. Okay. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. <laughs> I want to know why he scribbles with these words out. I don't know why. Maybe he's trying to come up with like creative words. Yeah, high grade in his English. I don't know. The villagers believe this old man have... Have hidden? Okay. Have hidden a jade amulet in the forest. <laughs> but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest. Oh, and not drink his sap. Oh, so did he set traps and flipping wreck people with them? What an asshole. One cool, one cool full night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. Jesus. This multifunctional sap there. When, or, I don't know, is that the right word? I don't think so. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers. Yep. <laughs> I imagine he did. The old man sat down and cried. Oh, it's kind of sad. And then found more sap to drink. Yep. Because why the hell not? Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Aww. It's just a nice gesture. Oh, are these bottles, yeah. Are these like bottles of sap that I take it. Now, usually after that, another letter appears. Oh, yep, I wasn't wrong. This is a news article, ain't it? One dead in house fire. Oh. Wait, are these... I don't know, because it's a picture of him in it. And if this is the fire, I think it is. The fire that damaged the historical home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning. According to the officials from the Bay County... I keep saying Bay County for some reason, not Bayfield County. Bay County... Oh, God, I said it again. Who cares? Fire department. A family of six was asleep who... When? The... Jesus Christ. Goddamn flame marks and stuff. Yeah, when it broke out in the Van Griff house, blah, blah, blah. Albert, yeah. It's undead. Remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edwin, 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep when he lit a cigarette in his hand. Oh. I see. So. He was responsible for it. What is this? Ah. Cigarette butts. A hell of a lot of them as well. Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. But now, I'm going to have to walk all the way back to the Vandegrift house. Oh joy. And I still hear more traps. Slightly worrying. But, you know, I think I'll stop the episode for the walk. Because you ain't going to want to see that. And if I cut it out, it'll already be way longer than what the episode needs to be. So, yeah. Let's get a nice view before we leave. And, yeah. As always, guys, I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you up 